What's up, nature freaks? What's going on? Dave and Jeremy here. Yeah, and speaking of freaks, it is 32 degrees outside, and we are looking for aquatic salamanders known as mud puppies. Now, unfortunately, to find these salamanders, we actually have to get into this freezing cold water and flip rocks. They like to go under these things. That's the only way we're gonna find them. So we have our waterproof boots. We're about to get on our gloves, get in that water, find some mud puppies. Let's get to work. Nature in your face! It's very cold right now, which is a good thing because these salamanders, when it gets warm, they go out into the deeper water where the water temperature is much colder. If you notice, there's a lot of rocks along the shoreline, some very big boulders. And these salamanders, they'll swim under there during the day and they'll just hide. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be flipping a lot of the rocks off the shore here. I'm hoping we can turn up some of these mud puppies. Water temperature is absolutely bone chilling. It hurts to put your hand in the water, but it's just what you have to do if you wanna find these salamanders. We got Jeremy in the water, better him than me, because it's cold. <laughs> and as you can see, he's flipping any rock that he comes across, and there's a lot of them in front of him. So far, we have not found any mud puppies, have Can't we? feel my arms. <laughs> All right, so we haven't turned up any mud puppies yet, but surprisingly, we did find a turtle, a red-eared slider, which is super weird considering it's January, it is freezing cold. You can't even put your hand in the water without being in pain, it's so cold. You can see he's kind of struggling. Now, he was right here in the water. I just put him up here on the land so we can film him a little bit, but pretty crazy here that no Sally's. Well, we got a turtle. You calling me a Sally? <laughs> we'll quit acting like one. Uh oh, he's going into the shaving cream. <laughs> yeah, we just had snow. There was just snow on the ground. It's supposed to snow like crazy tomorrow. It's all melted so far today. Ow. Yeah, what I was saying earlier. This is. <laughs> Hang on, it's I got... bad for us, but perfect for the salmon. Look at this really quick before I let him go because this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he's taking a foam bath here man that shell looks terrible i know i know i don't know he's struggling to, yeah, maybe but i mean they cold, they but... know what they're doing so we're not going to get him warm we're going to let him go know. back i don't see any of his buddies water. being as foolish and stupid as this we're your friends <laughs> i mean if if he dies then he made a mistake that's nature i guess so here is he gonna swim nice. he wasn't swimming when i caught him where was he was he under a log or was he no just... he was sitting just like that there he goes Trying to swim. Alrighty, mud puppies, come on. All oh, these rocks, some of them are stuck. Let's see what we got. A whole lot of nothing. I gotta roll up my sleeves. About to get bad. These mud puppies could be under the smallest rocks or they can be under the biggest boulders, you never know. So you just keep flipping until you find one. Yeah, if you notice, we're going really oh. slow with the rocks. When we lift them, a lot of the silt gets churned up, and so you can't see right away. Whoa, whoa, I got one. I already got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. Right next to the shoreline. Can somebody help him? Uh, oh, hold on. Here he is. I'm right behind Okay, he's here. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Come on. You see I got him. I got him. I see him. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, buddy. All right. I... Nicely done. Yes. Our first one. All right, let's uh, get him in the water. All and right, we, guys. We got a little bucket. Crap. Or got what? Him. Got him? Yep. Put it under here. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. A little guy. Okay, cool. Hey, don't we need that? All right, well, it took us a little while, but we ended up finding five mud puppies. It's been a very successful afternoon. Heck yeah, and we got a variety of sizes, so that's really cool. Uh, we have one that's about five inches right here, and then we got a teeny tiny. I'll get the little baby. One. I mean, look at that. They get bigger than this. Way um, bigger. But this is still a good example. 
And what's cool is when they come out of the water, they're gills. These guys have gills, they lay flat. Yeah, you don't see them until you put them in the water and then they flare out. But yeah, and they're like little branches um, that they just flare out and they absorb a ton of oxygen from the water. So it's really cool uh, the way they're able to survive in this water. Because most salamanders that we find, we find on the land. These guys are fully aquatic. They do not come onto land whatsoever. Another thing you'll notice is the laterally compressed tail. You see it's very flattened. This allows them to swim really well through that water. Yeah, just not like crocodilian species. Yeah, right, right. right. <clears throat> and they'll use those tails to swim after minnows, crayfish, and also to escape predators. Oh yeah, they love their crayfish. Uh, we had a crayfish in here earlier, because every time we're out here flipping rocks, little crayfish just shoot away backwards. Um, so these salamanders are kind of unique. They're a neotenic salamander, and what that means is that they never get out of the larval stage. So this would normally be the larval stage of a land-dwelling salamander, so they would lose the gills, and they would come onto the land and not stay in the water. But these live in the water, they breed, in the larval stage, so it's, it's really cool uh, to see them and be able to work with them. Now, technically you're not supposed to handle these salamanders, but we have special permission. We're working uh, with a team of biologists from SIU University as well as Shedd Aquarium, who asked us to assist in helping them find these uh, salamanders. We're gonna be taking uh, toenails to get DNA samples and different things with these salamanders, then we're just gonna let them go back in the water after we're done studying. Yeah, so there's a station set up over here and they're gonna be taking uh, not only toe clippings, Dave said toenail, but it's yeah, just it's actual toe clippings. <laughs> toe clippings, I guess. Um, and they're also gonna be, this is kind of gross, but necessary for science. They're gonna be pumping the stomach um, with a little tube, filling it with water, and so they're gonna be checking the stomach contents. Barfing salamanders. Yes, barfing salamanders. Call what it is. <laughs> um, and, and what's unique about it being cold right now is this is when they are in the shallow water because when it warms up during the summer, they go out here and they go deep and they're actually gonna to continue to study throughout the summer where they're gonna be dropping cages yep. and floats and just studying the different levels that they sit in as the climate and the water temperature changes. So it's really cool. All right, so uh, yeah, five salmoners. That's really five awesome. Salamanders. So let's uh, let's get our toe clippings and bring these over to uh, our biologist and yep. uh, finish studying them. Do some science. You wanna just tell us what we're doing here? So we're catching some uh, Nectaris maculosus, common mud puppies, for, for some research here at Wolf Lake. Today we'll be taking uh, their diets, sex length weight, uh, tagging them. Nice. And, uh, then releasing them. So. Awesome. And this is a pretty good size one, right? Yeah, pretty decent. Uh, it's 22 centimeters, so still falls in the uh, sub-adult class, but nice. decent size, for especially for rock turning. Awesome. Large individual. All right, what do, you, what do we got going on here? So now we're doing a, uh, it's called a gastric lavage. It's a gentle stomach pump to see what, uh, what he's eating, huh? What he's been eating recently, so. This is a relatively big mud puppy, isn't it? Yeah, it's decent size, yeah. He's starting to, a yeah. little bit of stuff coming up there. Yeah, there it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Getting a lot of goodies out of there, huh? He's got a lot of amphipods and scuds and small inverts. Typical meal? Yeah. Clip that toe. You're getting a med, mud puppy pedicure. Do you get DNA samples out of the uh, clippings at all? We do not. We can, but... What do you do with them? Why do you save them? Uh, you can do skeleto chronology on these and uh, age Just from, them. A, from a toe? Yeah, yeah. Really? No, I don't want Oh, that, that was man. gross. Now you got that on video. video. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, that was a lot of fun finding those salamanders. Special shout out to the Shedd Aquarium, as well as Southern Illinois University for really allowing us to help them and get this close to these salamanders. We would never have been able to do that without them. Yeah, 100%. Uh, so we're going to let them go now. Time to release the puppies back into the water. So that's what we're going to do. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing this incredible aquatic salamander up close when normally you would have to go in the water, go snorkeling to find them. So now we got the little nature 
in your face. Yes, and remember, if you guys are thinking about getting a mud puppy, make sure you buy it from a shelter and you have it spayed or neutered. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> All right, so before we let them go, we noticed a, a couple people fishing over here, and that's another part of their decline, is they do get caught by fishermen, and oftentimes they are killed by fishermen, or they're even illegally used as bait. Um, so that's really sad for them. Yeah, and there's this crazy belief that they're poisonous, which there's no truth to that. Obviously, we're handling, they're completely harmless. The fact that those red gills stick out, right. I don't know, maybe that's where that myth started, but it is a shame because some people just catch them and then they automatically kill them because they believe that they can harm people. Or sting you somehow or yeah, envenomate you, but um, All right, well, they, let's get these guys don't. back in the water. Let's let them go. Woo. <laughs> they're like, we're in the wave pool, man. <laughs> Come on!